If there was a sale on and the bathroom bits were reduced, I would buy them straight away. While most people's garages are just overflowing with stuff and forgotten exercise gear, Kitty Battams from Melton Mowbray is totally flipping the script. This super savvy mum of three turned her garage into this awesome tiny home for her dad and it was all done on a tight budget. My dad's been living there for a little while now, he's very happy and uh, it's really nice just to have him on the doorstep and know that in the future hopefully we can avoid very expensive care homes and hopefully we'll be able to care for him ourselves. The self-contained spacious two-bedroom annex conversion was done using supermarket purchases and end-of-run products. We employed an architect to draw out the plans what this meant was that we basically had a complete certainty of the idea and everything that we would need to make it a reality. Um, so all the materials, everything was listed out. So when we went to the builders, we actually had a full list of everything that we'd need down to the metre squareage of the flooring, uh, pipe work, anything like that. And that meant that we weren't going to be increasing costs over time. Um, it's very easy when you start down a route to go against your plan or, or change your plan and then you've bought something and then you've got excess materials or something. So what that did was basically just eliminated the sort of margin for error and actually gave us you know, a certainty on you know, what we were spending. To save even more cash, Kitty also took on a lot of the DIY herself. She learnt how to lay vinyl and installed the bathroom floor using end-of-the-run floor that she got a 70% discount on. She even picked up a few bargains in the middle of Lidl. Trawled the internet for all the bits and pieces for bathrooms, etc. Um, and I went through everywhere. If there was a sale on, I bought it and stored it somewhere. There was Our dining room was unusable for quite a few periods of time when you know, it was flooring piled up and all sorts of other bits of wood and things like that. But if there was a sale on and the bathroom bits were reduced, I would buy them straight away. Um, put them in the dining room and then when they were ready to use they were already there um, so that also helped to save a cost. Kitty says her garage conversion has allowed the three generations of her family to all live together but separately. Another reason for this conversion is to future-proof against rising inflation rates which she fears will leave her children priced out of the housing market. Looking forward into the future which seems very morbid um, but you know when dad's not there anymore uh, we've got somewhere that the children will hopefully be able to have a stop gap um, save some money for a deposit so that they can move into their own accommodation um, hopefully purchasing it <laughs> um, yeah but that's it kitty and her family factored in their 20k garage makeover main costs into the mortgage of their home carefully budgeting so the garage had all the mod cons and to help keep the costs down even more, Kitty shared a very helpful tip for anyone else considering taking on a challenge like this. I went around local tradespeople and I always asked the question, you know, is that your best price? Because, you know, at the end of the day, if you're on a budget, you've got to ask the question and uh, sometimes they do try and charge a little bit more or try and add a little bit onto it. So, you know, where you're trying to save costs, it's always worth asking the question because at the end of the day, if someone wants the job, they may reduce their price slightly. Now that's what we call making space with style.